All right, YouTube, what's up? We are doing the Encostus level. So this is our one, two, three, and the fourth level. Go ahead and check out our loadout here. As always, we've got, we've got packs always loaded. We've got the sword always loaded. Um, primary seems to be pretty good with the shotgun. Um, having a close-up weapon is definitely helpful. You want to pick something that's far range and then keep something at close. So if you use the sword, great. If you use the shotgun, go for it. You are the ruler of the infernal and unaccustomed to taking the big L. The big L. She's pretty cool. I want to fight her. Now the ritual of spears was supposed to bind the spirit in perpetuity. At least that's what they was hoping for. Bye. Yep, let me tell you, that was not the finale hell was hoping for. And after that, prophecy or no prophecy, we have the judge's full attention. All right, let's hop in. Ritual of Spears didn't work, so it was back to the old drawing board for the pretty judge. sweet looking temple. Always some banging music. I love how the atmosphere bangs to the music, too. All right, always get our dash going. The dash to the music does count, it does help you get that triple dash. We are using controller this time. There's our exit right there. Always with the little spikies running around. That's our exit. Grab some energy. These guys are unshielded. Shouldn't take too long. If I don't miss every shot. You would think a shotgun would actually have a bigger spread, but it doesn't. Alright, we got one of the acid lobbers. Great song. Sometimes you get caught up in trying to time things and your aim gets a little bit messed up. We gotta find some energy. There's an energy crystal over there. Also, we can hit one of these enemies with a lower weapon. There we go. Got the energy crystal. Go ahead and do the finisher. Gets us some energy as well. And our exit is open. Look around for some seals, coats of arms. Whatever you can find. Grab the energy while we can. This guy is shielded. Not my favorite enemy at all. You can kind of go behind them. You do like a double jump. I think that's one of your best tactics. Try to shoot the arm and try to get behind them. Missed our finisher on that one. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. So we're just doing no damage because he has that shield out. You really got to connect on that arm or else you're not going to get anything. Shoot 
shooting at nothing. High five. <clears throat> Just looking for collectibles at this point. The time you spend looking for collectibles is the time you end up losing uh, time on the map, which, you know, it's a double-edged sword. You can always play the map again and play for speed. But the first time around, kind of looking for collectibles and other things that we can add to the game. We could do these runs as speed runs, but it's the first time we played the levels, so just kind of getting used to the maps, getting used to the enemies, looking around for collectibles. Take our time with it. There we go. Smash that. Get some energy. things right there sneak up on you all right we got our super engaged she took the hell and we got the hell crows very nice looks like we have a double throwing scythe for the hell crow sort of a mid-range weapon that's thrown very nice it looks like it goes through enemies and then comes back It's actually really good because if you have a miss and then you move, it'll come back to you. Come back through their back. There we go. Take the energy on that one. Perfect. Yeah, this weapon's uh, it's really good. Really easy on the timing. No reload. Um, it is ranged. Not a full map weapon. Definitely a mid-range map weapon. So if you're looking to build up combo, you can use packs or you can use the sword. They do really well because they hit a lot quicker, so you can stay with these faster beats. But if you're using your bigger weapons, you gotta stay on like a double double timing or a quad timing. You can't hit every note. They just, they physically just don't shoot fast enough. <clears throat> so you want to stay on that one, two, three, four, one, just like that. But packs, packs you can go one, two, three, four. It actually fires quite quick. Not a good timing with the higher fan. There we go. Bam. We'll take those. We'll take those dubs. We got two more coming in. And they're gone. All right. They're not too hard to take care of, but they do have those lethal little crawling things they send out toward you. Not, not very fun. Down, 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 down. down. Deeper and deeper. Name that movie. Let's see, it looks like it returns to you wherever you move. And so if you shoot it and move, if you're expecting it to come back in a straight line, it will follow you. So the weapon has tracking. Also does not go through rocks. <laughs> Going through rocks, not guaranteed. more of these Hierophants. Is it Hierophant or Hierophant? How do you say it? How do you say it? I've always, always a Hierophant. I'm not a Hierophant. Take care of that. Get this Acid Lobber. I don't know his real name. I just call him Acid Lobber. Figured that was a good name for him. All 
All right, we got another shielded guy. So this weapon's actually perfect for the shielded guy because it'll go through him and then come back and hit him in the back. Take him out on that non-shielded part. Actually might be one of my favorite new weapons. This and the shotgun. The shotgun is just really good. This one is slower, so it's harder to get your combos because of the timing. But it's very powerful. And that's a cliff. Alright, restart. <laughs> you can fall off the map. And there we go. Go ahead and head towards the exit here. You're gonna get the horns. You're gonna get the horns. Alright, grab some energy because we are low. Sometimes it's weird. Sometimes you find enemies in the hallways and sometimes you don't. Even if you don't need energy, the finisher is just a really cool move anyways, so. Kind of slows down time. Can't really get hit while you're doing it. Might as well take advantage, right? We are on an 11 streak right now. Those count towards your hit streak, by the way. The obstacles. Siege behemoth. This guy right here. He has got, he's got quite, quite the punch. Those fireballs hurt. And there's a big club on his arm. It's actually a rocket launcher. And that right there, you want to jump over for sure. It's like a pulsing fire wave. All right, we got a few more smaller enemies, but yeah, the siege behemoth. Definitely, not like a mini boss. Definitely one of the biggest enemies you'll fight on this map. I like the super on this weapon. It's kind of like surrounds you in a flurry of axes. We don't really need that energy, so we're gonna wait on it. So yeah, you can pay attention to the environment if you're trying to keep on beat. The environment will pulse with the beat to you. This guy's just hanging on me for a ride, hello? Not a taxi? Not a taxi. This is not a siege behemoth. It's just one of those guys with the big scythe. There we go. Six boons lost. Unfortunate. We are sitting on that 16x though. Very helpful for our score. We're up in the six millions. It'd be cool if you could see where you are on the leaderboard as you play the game. See, there you go. You break out packs. Is it Paz or packs? How do you say it? Paz? But he can generate a hit streak pretty quickly. Another siege behemoth. The Herophant and the siege behemoth at the same time, you gotta watch your back. You got fire waves coming, you've also got those little hell caterpillar looking things on the ground. They also uh, they put mines out too. Gotta watch those proximity mines. We are in trouble here, folks. We're sending in about 15% energy. There's an energy crystal on the wall. Will he make it? We got it. All right, let's go. 
All right, jump over the wave. Or not, just take the wave, it's fine. It's totally fine. I'd seen this before too. Oh, it's hard to remember. All right, let's go. I keep thinking about that losing what we love thing. Look around, see if there's anything in the room. Nothing that way. Nothing that way. All right. Sure you could guess who was at the top running, that running up that hill. Bum bum bum. All right, aspect fight. Let's get it. Oh, got some moving rocks. Hmm. Yikes. It's not ominous when the ground starts building itself, right? It really is. I mean, it's the same aspect every time, which is they have uh, they have different moves. So in this one, we have a pillar, and it is a pillar of flame. So you gotta you gotta dodge that constantly in this fight. So it's it's definitely the same aspect every time, but they have different. Mm, I'd say just different mechanics each time. This one's a little bit tougher since you have a pillar of flame that you have to dodge each time. Gosh, we're hitting like 5k crits with that shotgun now. Really good. Alright, load up on some energy. Aspect is invulnerable right now, waiting for the adds to come out. There we go. Take care of some of these adds. You can take care of those with the sword or paths or whatever you want, really. About to lose our 16x because we have nothing to shoot at. Do have our ultimate. We want to go ahead and pop that. Now we have three flames. This is like phase two of the fight, so we have one up high and we have two down low. A little bit challenging to navigate. When you see the head glowing right there, you can get in some crit shots. That's when you want to do some big attacks. So we're at the halfway point of the fight. Enemies are gonna get a little bit stronger. We do have one, we do have one of the guys with the scythe as an arm. Definitely one of my most hated enemies. It's between them and like the acid blobbers. Acid blobbers are not fun. We need to pick up some wall energy pretty quick. There we go. Still have one more left. Kind of want to conserve those. If you can. Alright, we're sitting at 16x. We don't need to pick up 16x. Alright, get in some good shotgun blasts. Fire is off on the column, so take advantage. We have more mobility. Head is flowing, that means we are in crit mode. Alright, down to one quarter. Aspect is gonna go invulnerable one more time. So they are four stage fights. Now we have we have a high fire blast. We have two lows and we have a mid. So jumping is a challenge, but you also need to jump. <laughs> Staying on the ground is a challenge. Everything's a challenge. All right. Popped our ultimate here. Take care of the rest of the ads if needed. Aspect is going to stay in the middle. Aspect kind of has like a fire blast to get you away from the middle. All right. Crit mode is activated. Let's go ahead and see if we can take care of this boss. And there we go. That is the aspect fight on Incostus. Sweet. 
that'll take us into Gahina. Gahina. So we will uh we'll see Gahina next time on our next let's play. Thanks for tuning in. And we'll see you next time here. There we go. We got that hell crow. Very cool weapon. All right, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good one.